Hey everyone, Anthony here with Samsung Digital Imaging and today I'm going to show you how to install and use the Samsung Movie Converter software. For starters, you will need the Samsung iLauncher software installed on your Mac or PC. If you don't already have this installed, we do offer another video tutorial on how to install this. You'll notice I have my NX500 plugged into my Mac and it is turned on. I'm going to click on Movie Converter and it begins downloading the actual setup packages for Movie Converter. It's not installing it yet, it's just downloading the setup packages. There's the setup package, we'll open that. And this is basic terms and conditions, questions like anything else. I normally click through them, you're more than welcome to feel free and read them. And the installation is done. So this is a pretty quick setup and install. Here's the Movie Converter. Really nice interface, very simple. Here is my file. This is my H.265 file that I recorded with the NX500. I'll drag and drop it over here. File is a minute and four seconds. It was recorded at 4K. Now, I can actually go on ahead and downscale this, which I'm going to do. I'll also change the quality. And the folder is converted movie files. This is the folder actually right over here. I can choose a different folder if I want. Here's some of the files I've converted in the past, but I like this folder. So feel free to pick whatever folder you want the files to go into and then click convert. And for the sake of time, we're going to speed up the video so that way you can see the final completed product. Okay, the operation completed successfully. I can either click OK or open the folder. There's my file right there and there's my video. So this is a high school band playing a concert. Notice it converted just fine. I'll close this now. So pretty simple and easy. Now you could line up a bunch of files on here and have them convert one after another, or you can just convert one at a time. And that's how you use the Samsung Movie Converter. You're more than welcome to use third-party software. This is just one that Samsung offers for free with its Samsung cameras. Please feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below, and we'll get to those as soon as we possibly can. Thanks for watching, everyone.